Welcome back everyone to the Irish Furian. I am the Irish Furian. So um, in this video I want to talk about again it is uh, a neighbor neighboring guy uh, of the family where my family uh, lived and now somewhat lives. Um, he's an electrician and basically I wanted a Hopefully that sound won't interfere now. It's somebody just cutting trees with a chainsaw, but uh, um, I Wanted him to get the electricity working in a small boiler shed again, which I'm using to uh, uh, Build batteries and keep batteries uh, well cells for batteries 18650s for electric bikes in there um, Just out of safety uh, probably not the best environment in moist when it's moist and all the rest out and and uh, probably doesn't do very good not the ideal place really but anyway my point being that uh, I asked him would he hook up the electricity again because the house uh, was changed a little bit when there was um, solar panels put in and air to water heating uh, in the family home and uh, uh, the electricity out to that boiler shed was cut off so he said he would. He said he had no problem doing it whatsoever. Um, and uh, I said I'd offer him some money anyway, whatever he, whatever he wanted or whatever he needed. And um, I, I think I, may, I might have made, I can't remember if I did, a 50. So I said I'd offer him a 50 for basically uh, just looking for the switch to turn it back on again. Now he's a nice enough guy and all the rest of it, and, and, uh, but he never has. The last time I saw him, the second last time before the last time I talked to him, um, or the last time I saw him, he said he he wasn't forgetting about me, um, and that he'll do that and does no problem. And I didn't go after him; he came over to me. And so, since then, he's passed me a number of times and hasn't done it. So I'm just my pattern recognition machine is going. Why isn't he doing this? It's very simple. He's a neighbour; like he's he's directly beside the the family home. He can do it any time, any time he's free at all, an hour or two, just find a switch, switch it on, or see what needs to be done. Um, not a big job at all. I can only do it myself if, if I knew what to do. Um, but uh, I'm, I, I think the wife is quite strong. She's quite a strong character. A bit masculine, a bit of a masculine character. And so I'm just wondering, like, has his wife told him not to do any jobs? like that for such a low amount of money um, use your time for for making money which brings in money for the family and all the rest of it and that's, and that's fair enough but there's there's something else here in this in, and that's that women will never understand the currency that men have together between each other in trust and in um, displayed uh, help and uh, resource for each other you know when somebody proves their worth uh, as a man in a, in a in a community of men that person is seen as valuable and then is desired to be kept around now to a woman that may seem harsh or cruel because it's all about feelings and that everybody should be equal that's a motherly instinct that's a maternal instinct it's not a male instinct it's not a male character trait so the point is that men men seek um they, they, they gain trust with other males and friendships through activity, through connection, based on activity. And that trust is one of the highest forms of currency, if not the highest form of currency. Paper money and, and shiny metal coins is, is representation of currency. The highest form of currency is trust, trust between people. Do you trust me? Do I trust you? And if so, then we have value and worth between us. We multiply our skills, thoughts, and uh, behaviors and abilities um, twofold. And so women don't understand that because um, that's not something they build up between, e between each other. So this is why in Christianity and Islam, the woman taking place as the head of the household and making those kind of decisions is not a good thing. This is why I think Ireland failed because the Irish men, they defaulted to their wives whims and not didn't hold the ground as the heads of the household overall, uh, even on these things. They don't have any moral or uh, uh, ethical law 
in other words, God's law by which to default to um, in regards to understanding where to draw the line and, and not to give. Um, so I think um, um, this is how you loot your nation. Now, that's, that's me being rang, so I'm going to go from that. That's my point made anyway. Take care.